Good morning, First Oak. Today is Tuesday, December 13, 2022, and I'm Angel for the award-winning Good Morning, First Oak on WFM TV. Attention, sixth and seventh graders. Registration for next year will begin Friday. Yet, will begin Friday. Yesterday, during PE, you heard a presentation from the counselors about registration processes. You have also received your registration card. Um, fill it out and get it signed by a caregiver before Friday. Turn it into your advisory teacher on Friday during advisory. You will fill out the Google form to officially register for elective classes. Today we will be playing promos for band, orchestra, and studio art. Hey everyone, this is Mr. Conti, and I'm here to talk to you about why you should join band and orchestra at Forest Oak. I'm really happy to see a lot of my musicians returning for next year, and I'm also super excited to meet a lot of new faces. So, why should you play in band or orchestra? Well, you get to learn the instrument and play great music. You get to take a fun and rewarding class. You learn new notes and skills. You get to be part of a special community. Once you're a musician, that's an exclusive group and something that you can really be proud of. You get to play in concerts and go on trips. This year, the, the symphonic band and orchestra are both going to Hershey Park both to perform and to go on the rides. So that's really exciting. So if you sign up for band, here are some of the instruments that you can play. Flute, clarinet, trumpet, trombone, French horn, tuba, saxophone, bassoon, baritone, drums, and percussion. Here are some of our awesome Forest Oak band students showing off their instruments and their enthusiasm for being in band. If you sign up for an orchestra class, you can play violin, viola, cello, or bass. And here are some of our awesome Forest Oak orchestra students showing off their instruments. They really love playing in orchestra and they want you to join as well. So what do we learn in band and orchestra classes? We learn basic and advanced playing skills, depending on your level, musical terminology and techniques, playing as a group and following a conductor, as well as reading and writing musical notation. So everything you need to know about playing an instrument and playing in a group, we go over in class. Here are some quotes from some students about why you should join band and orchestra. This student said, band is great because we have fun playing music with our friends. We also get to play in concerts and go to Hershey Park at the end of the year. This student says, you should join orchestra because you have a blast learning new things and playing music with your friends. Orchestra lets you express yourself and helps you find your rhythm in school. So what class is right for you? This year we are offering beginning band or orchestra. This is open to absolutely everyone in every grade, no matter if you've played before. We will teach you everything you need to know about playing a musical instrument. So if maybe you wanted to sign up and virtual learning stopped you from playing in music, this is the year to sign up and learn. Beginning band or orchestra for everyone who's never played before. Now, if you're going into sixth grade and you've played before, you have prior experience, you would sign up for band one or orchestra one. If you're going into seventh grade with prior experience, band two or orchestra three. And finally, if you have prior experience and you're going to eighth grade, you'll sign up for band three or orchestra three. Join music because music is one of the things that can lift you up and make your life special. Music is not only to cool to play in middle school, it's also something awesome that you can bring with you into high school, into college, and something you can enjoy for the rest of your life. So thank you guys, and I look forward to seeing all of you in band or orchestra next year.
From daysoftheyear.com, today is a day for monkeying about. Monkey Day is celebrated across the world by acting like monkeys, but has... <laughs> But it has a more serious side about raising awareness of the theory of evolution, medical research, and animal rights. Here is Ms. Carlos with the winners of the Basketball Jamboree Lottery. All right, good morning, Forest Oak. Next week, as most of you already know already, we have, <laughs> we have our Basketball Jamboree. Staffer student basketball game. Um, teachers were allowed to put their names in to come down and watch live. So I'm going to read those names of who is attending each period. Starting with period one, it'll be Mr. Caterino, Miss Dillon, Miss Hall, Mr. Johnson, Mr. McNerney, Mr. Montez, Miss Olschlager, Miss Prince, Miss Schultes, and Mr. Smith for period one. And then period two is going to be Miss Briner, Mrs. Carter, Mr. Carter, Mr. Conti, Miss Gagel, Miss Olschlager, Mrs. Pebinito, Mrs. Quintanilla, Mrs. Reed, and Miss Schultes. Period three will be Miss Briner, Mr. Conti, Mr. Johnson, Mr. McNerney, Mr. Montez, Mrs. Olschlager, and Mr. Smith. Period four will be Mrs. Coleman, Mrs. Cook, Mr. Johnson, Mrs. Jones Black, Mrs. Jordan, Mr. McNerney, Mrs. Pebinito, and Ms. Schultes. Period five will be Mrs. Coleman, Mrs. Cook, Mrs. Key, Ms. Kumar, and Ms. Mahoney. Period six, Ms. Briner, Mr. Carter, Ms. Gagel, Mr. Johnson, Mr. McNerney, Mrs. Olschlager, Ms. Prince, Mrs. Reed. And lastly, period seven, Ms. Colbert, Ms. Dillon, Mr. Johnson, Ms. Kumar, Mr. McNerney, Mr. Montez, Mrs. Modisset, Mrs. Pebinito, and Mr. Smith. So congratulations, teachers, and we'll see you next week. That's... <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Carlos. That's all for today's edition of Good Morning Forest Oak. I'm Angel, and have a wonder-tastic Monday. Wednesday. <laughs> GMFO. GMFO out. out.